So as we start the new year, we have Venus doing what? Venus, the planet of love, is going retrograde, meaning moving backwards. And you can tell because it's that bright, bright light in the in the western sky just at sunset. Mm -hmm. Very, very bright. That's Venus because it's so very close to the Earth. And whenever every 14 months or so, Venus appears to stop its forward motion, like Mercury retrograde, and move backwards. And when it does, it begs the question, what do you love in whatever area or affair of life it's, it's transiting through? So I thought... I would, it's not always in a love relationship, it's what do you love in whatever that circumstance is. For Capricorns, it is who do you love, what do you love in your partnerships is the big question. And a lot of times that brings blasts from your romantic past saying, are you sure, are you sure, are you really, really sure? Good question. Um, for Aquarians, they have to be the most careful with this energy because they're not unhappy in their life circumstance now. And Venus retrograding goes, could you be just a little bit happier, do you think? And... <laughs> You know, I'm not so sure that there ever is more. Mm. So they have to be, only they can answer that particular question. For Pisces, the question is, are you happy with what you're doing, where you're at, and the goals that you've set for yourself? And Because you're going to go ahead and achieve them, and it's one thing to get what you want, but the more important thing is to want what it is that you get. For Aries, it's in their 10th house of career and public standing. And again, Aries have said, I want to do more, I want to do more professionally, and the universe is going to say, okay, how much more did you have in mind? When they see how much work it is, they may want to take a step back. But again, that won't be determined right away. That's part of that question. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you really, really sure? For Tauruses, they fall in love with some place at a distance. And they want to spend as much time as they possibly can there. Um, and that, that causes a problem with the things that they have going on here. But they're really going to start to think about, can I do this on a long-term basis is really what they're going to be asking themselves. And legal matters go very well for them. For Geminis, money falls out of the sky on them, um, and that's a very, very cool thing. Because for Geminis, they get the opportunity for more investments. They get to they get to take some sort of action that they should have taken in the past to alleviate a lot of their fears. For Cancers, in their seventh house of partners, and they finally hear their partners say, whatever you want, I will give it to you. So that's a very cool thing. And, yeah. and they also are looking at, at, at partnerships and where their rights are inside of that. For Leos, work goes incredibly well for them. And this is something that they could have done 14 months ago, 14 years ago. They get the opportunity to really take what it is that they do and be able to truly love it. Ooh. Which is a very cool thing because yeah. you know when you do what you love, mm -hmm. the money follows. For Virgo, it's about love in general. It's about solidifying their love relationships. And Virgos um, are in the best position they've probably been in in 20 years, actually, to get their love needs met, which I have to say... Ooh. Hoorah! Uh, yeah, exactly. For Libras, they are going to want to beautify their homes. They're going to want to do something to their homes to make it more solid, more dependable, a safer place for them to operate out of. And all I have to say to, to the Libra is, have a budget, because they've got the most expensive taste in the whole world, and they really want to try and stick to it. Um, for Scorpios, the pace of their day-to-day -day living picks up, and they're going to be restructuring what it is they do, and not only what it is they do, but where it is they do it out of. So... They need to make sure that the structure they build is something based on their wants and their needs. And then for Sag, the last sign, again, it's about making more money. And they get the best opportunity. They get an opportunity that they turned down several years ago and have been kicking themselves for not taking advantage of. And they get that opportunity again to go, okay, this time, are you really, really sure? So I'm a big fan of finding the answer to that question. And I think um, for the new year... It bodes really, really well for just about all of us, which is something I can really look forward to. Whew, we need that big time. So, yes, we do. Well, so. Happy New Year to you. I will see you next year. Yes, you will. Always a pleasure.